Hey guys, that up here. Today we're going to be talking about storing and saving tobacco for an end of the world kind of situation. I am a smoker, and for those of you that aren't, this would be a good thing to have on hand for trade because, well, people like me are going to want to smoke. I use uh, this stuff, it's uh, the good stuff, premium pipe tobacco red. This is basically cigarette tobacco, but they have to call it pipe tobacco for tax reasons, so it makes it less expensive. You also can buy um, a box of these uh, rolling tubes, and they basically just look like that with a filter on the end. Uh, this is probably, this is what, a pound bag? This is probably um, 15 to $18 for a pound bag and this here is about two or three dollars for 200 of these filtered tubes. You get one of these machines here uh, this probably cost me 30 or 40 bucks it's electronic and it uh, automatically rolls the cigarettes for you you put your tobacco into here stick your little tube here on the end and then push the button and the tobacco will come out through that and fill this up, pushing it out, and then you'll have a um, completely rolled cigarette. So this is what we use. Now, when it gets down to the stuff that's just kind of left over, the spiels out, I don't really like to smoke that. So what I do is I have this here is the bag that I smoke, and this here is the bag that I fill with all of this extra. Free smokers, this is a good way to do it. Free non-smokers, just use the full bag. So this is the bag here that I will use to uh, save any of my tobacco. Now, there's a few different theories on the internet, but nobody really has a good answer on how to store cigarettes or tobacco. Or I mean, there is for cigars, there is for pipe tobacco, but for cigarettes, it's just kind of throw it in the freezer to last for a little bit or uh, vacuum seal it and it'll last for a little bit or um, just put it into a jar and put an orange slice in it and it'll last for a little bit. So the basic uh, consensus is to either take the tobacco and put it into a um, vacuum seal bag or into one of the, your canning jars and put an um, oxygen absorber in there and give it a nice good tight seal and then you'll be able to um, keep it fresh for the longest period of time. Now in an end of the world situation most smokers aren't after they run out of their regular pack they're not going to care so much about freshness as they are going to care about the nicotine. A bad cigarette is still a cigarette. So what I'm doing is I'm going to take this back, put it out of the way, put it out of the way. So I'm going to basically just take the the leftover tobacco that I have here and pour it into my jar. and full, pack it down, just keep packing it in there and try to get as much of the, the space used and the oxygen out as you can. Oh, look at that, nice full jar, perfect, it's almost like I measured it. But I didn't. Okay, so now we get that packed in there. Scoop up the rest of our little bit. Don't do this at home. Okay, put a lid on. Oh, nope. Oxygen absorber. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I usually just stick one of these in here. Um, same as you would for um, any other kind of dry goods, kind of bury it about halfway down. There we 
we go. Let's put this lid back on and keep those nice and fresh. Put this back on. And give it a few minutes and then this will um, be sealed. So that's one thing that um, you should store, can store, whatever, for end of the world. I'm going to use this for trade because I'm also um, going to be growing my own tobacco, so I can store a lot of it like this. And just put it in a cool, dark place, and you should be good to go. Well, that's it for this segment. Um, we'll check out all my other uh, trade videos when they pop up. And as always, comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later.